DAV is a distributed system on steroids. It's laying the protocol, the foundation for the transportation industry. It's a combination of the technologies I care deeply about. So drones, one element, blockchain, another element, and distributed and a trusted ecosystem in a trustless environment. DAV is an open transportation protocol. It enables us for the first time to create an open source, peer-to-peer -peer global transportation network. This network includes anything and anyone involved in moving people and objects from place to place. Everyone on the DAV network can discover services within the network. For example, riders can discover drivers and drivers can discover charging stations and developers can use the open protocol to introduce their unique value to the network in the form of route planning, machine learning, and data sharing. The opportunities this network can create are endless. Looking a bit further down the road, the DAV network is an ideal entry point for the vehicles of the next decade, which are autonomous vehicles on the ground, in the air, and on the water. Well, the future is definitely autonomous. If you have to summarize the future of transportation in one word, it's going to be autonomous. Being able to do true autonomous operations is what's becoming you know, the big push nowadays. I can predict that the autonomous world will expand. Once autonomous vehicles enter the market, you're no longer hiring the driver inside the car. You're hiring the car. And this brings up a lot of interesting challenges. For example, how do you get a quote and agree on a transaction with a car or with a drone? How do vehicles compete for your business? This is a completely new market, and this is where the DAV protocol comes in. It connects vehicles and users and services, creating one big network, so that we can each have an entire network of on-demand vehicles at our disposal. It also enables anyone to purchase equipment that is compatible with the protocol and make it available on the network in return for tokens. For anyone that joins the network, whether they are taxi companies, delivery companies, or simply someone who owns a drone, having a unified open protocol means they don't need to be a multinational corporation to have utility. The DAV protocol connects them to a global network of riders and drivers and vehicles and developers and chargers. The number of useful combinations within the network is exponential. The advantages of a decentralized network like that is that it allows true market competition and doesn't give all the benefit and all the upside to one central entity. I firmly believe not a single entity has all the elements to, to win. I mean, nobody can eat alone. You have to share the pie. So companies now have a choice. Instead of creating an entire network, an entire ecosystem from scratch, they can focus on their core product and use the DAV protocol to become a part of an existing network using completely open standards and without paying any fees. The whole idea of internet was to break the middleman, right? And uh, DAV, it is to the future of transportation what TCP IP was to the internet. So the most exciting thing I see is the ability for DAV to be the key enabler of that internet transport. The DAV network is expanding as more and more companies join, and the DAV platform is already being integrated into some of their vehicles. I believe like no single technology is going to succeed on its own. It's always going to be some mix of technologies. Got to have a way for our be able to interconnect the transportation systems or whatever they may be. And so it's a combination of getting the players who do the best job in each of those pieces to come in and work together. I invite everyone to join our growing community and take part in the future of transportation.